We got up early to catch sunrise at Monument Valley Tribal Park. It was absolutely freezing and very windy, so be sure to bundle up if you come in winter. But the views are 100% worth the wait, even in the cold. I'm Karin. And I'm Jeremy. And we're an average couple with average jobs and limited vacation time. When we take trips, we have one or two weeks, three or four lucky. And we want to see and do as much as possible when we travel. Join us as we maximize our vacation time on mapping it. If you're planning a trip to the Mighty Five or the Grand Canyon in March, definitely bring warm weather gear because it can be very cold. The highs can be in the 60s, but the lows can be in the 30s or even lower. So pack warm. Also consider bringing crampons because some of the trails can be icy. After sunrise, we got on the road to head to Horseshoe Bend near Page, Arizona. The best way to beat the crowds is to come early. We did our best, but it's about a two and a half hour drive from Monument Valley to get to Horseshoe Bend, and we ended up getting there a bit after 10 a.m. The parking lot was packed. We're walking to Horseshoe Bend to go see the famous viewpoint. What people don't tell you is that it is a little bit of a walk. It was $10 to get in and it should be worth it. The hike from the parking lot to the viewpoint is about three quarters of a mile and it's an easy downhill walk to get there. We're almost to the viewpoint. Let's go find a good spot. Come on. Horseshoe Bend is part of Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, and it's only nine miles downstream from where Grand Canyon National Park begins. The Colorado River carved its way through the rock, creating about a 1,000 foot deep, 270 degree horseshoe shaped bend in Glen Canyon. We made it to the Horseshoe Bend Overlook. It's pretty cool. If you choose to come to Horseshoe Bend at the prime time of day, you're also going to deal with hundreds of other tourists. Check it out. Can you move? Like I'm trying to take a photo. I don't want you in it. Everyone's fighting for the prime spot. Check out this view. For a person that's afraid of heights, how does it feel to be at Horseshoe Bend? We're at the birdhouse in Page, Arizona, which is known for fried chicken. We're having lunch. What did you get for lunch? I got the two-piece thigh and leg uh, combo with mac and cheese. Looks good. And we also got the spicy chicken sandwich with some seasoned fries. Mm. Very juicy. Very good. Looks very crunchy. Also, I got it with honey butter, so that's very good. <laughs> mm. Very creamy. I got the spicy chicken sandwich. It's got uh, their special sauce house pickles, and fried chicken. Let's dig in. <laughs> How spicy is it? <laughs> it hasn't hit me yet. How's the sauce? The sauce is really good, kind of tangy. The pickles have that perfect fresh pickle flavor. The chicken is juicy. It's a brioche bun. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Mm. 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 This is so good. I highly recommend the spice, but the heat builds. <laughs> <laughs> and for dessert, we got some donut holes with strawberry jam and Nutella. It's 
very sweet. I think it's one and a half. Very decadent. Three pieces of each. Pretty crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Two fish run into a concrete wall, and one looks at the other and says, Damn. We're at the Glen Canyon Dam in Page, Arizona. This dam creates Lake Powell on the Colorado River. After checking out the views at Glen Canyon Dam, we hopped back in our car for the two hour drive to our next destination. We made it to the Grand Canyon, finally, woohoo! Woo we entered the park through the east entrance around 3 p.m. and there was no line to get in. When we finally pulled up to our first viewpoint, the scenery in front of us was breathtaking. We couldn't believe we were finally seeing the Grand Canyon. We made it to the Grand Canyon! Okay. Woohoo! We're at Desert View on the south rim of the Grand Canyon. And some fun facts are that it's about a mile deep and 10 miles wide on average. The Desert View Overlook has fantastic views of the Colorado River running through the canyon. The Desert View Watchtower was built in 1932 and the design is based on the architecture of the ancestral Puebloan people. We found some elk at Grand Canyon. If you notice cars pulled over on the side of the road, you might get lucky and spot some wildlife. Pull over with caution. Whatever you do, keep a safe distance from wildlife and never approach them. President Woodrow Wilson signed the Grand Canyon National Park Act in 1919, establishing the Grand Canyon as a national park. We hopped from viewpoint to viewpoint, slowly making our way to Mather Point to catch the last rays of sunset. Some of the nicest spots to watch sunset are from the north rim of the Grand Canyon, but unfortunately the north rim is closed in winter. But we did get a great view of the moon rising. The moon is rising. It's a full moon tonight at the Grand Canyon. If you're gonna come and travel to Utah or Arizona, blah, blah, blah. my arm is it. in it. We're almost to the viewpoint. Gosh, yeah. <laughs> All right. If you choose to come to Antelope Canyon, Antelope Canyon. <laughs> I keep doing that. I feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Glen <laughs> I can <laughs> Facts huh. Yeah Look, a nature It's a little dark Well Oh well, 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 keep going. La, 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 la. <laughs>